Today's Kittle question is how do I change my artboard or canvas color in Kittle? And it's super easy to do. So let's go ahead and dive in. We did change it a little bit when we integrated the ability to have multiple artboards. As you see here, I have multiple artboards. I have this amazing template right here. I also just have a blank canvas right here. Now, as you can see, if I want to go back and forth between these two canvases, I can simply just click on the title of each one. I can click on the title of each one and then here you can see there is the background color. So if I click on this canvas right here using the name right here, I can see the background color and I can easily change that to whatever I want to. Maybe I want it to be dark. Now I can also click on this canvas down here. Same thing. I can click on the title right there and I can easily start moving the color to be something different. Maybe I don't want this in to be light. Maybe I want it to be more dark. And then I can select my little elements here and I can turn these to uh, the yellow to uh, be the dark mode for the template that I want to. Now you might notice that if I hover over this artboard that has nothing on it, I can actually click on it because there's nothing on it. So when you have a blank artboard like that, you can actually just go ahead and click on it exactly so that I can change the color over here. So again, I can open up the color, the background color panel, and I can go here and I can change the color. I can even use document colors that are already here. So for example, if I want it to be that red, maybe I wanna make multiple of these shirts that are down here and I want artboards to be different colors, I can do that. Now, again, since there's nothing on this artboard, you can see my cursor has changed. I can go ahead and select this and actually change the artboard that way, or of course, I can select the text right here and change it this way. Now, if I go down here, I can't actually click on the artboard itself to change the color because there are objects on here. And we do it this way because we don't want to accidentally have you changing the background when you're really meaning to be editing on the template itself. So what you have to do is click on the actual text this will bring up your background color panel over here on the right where you can also change your size and you can do all of these other things like change the dimensions, uh, opacity, all this stuff like that. And you can change your color this way by clicking on the text. Now, again, we can easily demonstrate this by duplicating. I can hold the alt or the option key and I can click and drag. And let's say we keep on doing this. I have this one selected. So now I can go to the background color. I can select that, uh, that I can select that yellow. So then maybe I make this text black. Maybe I make these little elements black. And now we can have iterations of these templates by going and changing our background color, maybe changing some color that's on the template itself with the words or the elements and things like that. Now you can have some more nuanced and different templates. Of course, I haven't edited this one very much other than the color. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to go in there. You're gonna to wanna to change your text. You wanna change your graphics, maybe move some stuff around, which we have some videos on how to do that. But that's easily how you change the color of your canvas in the Kittle editor. I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, please comment down below if you need to know how to do something in Kittle. Let us know so we can immediately do a video for you. It's super easy to hop in here and do these quick little videos so that you can become a Kittle expert faster, make more money, do the things that you need to do with design. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like this video if it was helpful. And we will see you in the next video.